This is Barry Zalma speaking for Claim School Incorporated's blog, Zalma on Insurance. Today we're going to talk about why an employee's illegitimate act is still insured and why the duty to defend and indemnify is inviolate. Four insurers, the appellants, appealed the district court's order finding they were required to provide insurance coverage for an incident at Hampton Inn, Albany, a hotel owned by Albany Downtown Hotel Partners, LLC, and managed by Banyan Tree Management, LLC. The four insurance companies issued commercial general liability insurance to Banyan and Albany. In Citizens Insurance Company of America et al. versus Albany Downtown Hotel Partners and Banyan Tree Management et al., the United States Court of Appeal for the 11th Circuit on September 28, 2023, affirmed the trial court's ruling. In 2015, an employee of Hampton in Albany secretly recorded a hotel guest while she was showering in the hotel bathroom. Years later, the video was circulated and the guest sued Banyan in Albany for negligence, premises liability, and vicarious liability, alleging she suffered emotional and subsequent physical injury. Banyan and Albany subsequently sought coverage from their insurance providers, who disputed their duty to cover the injury, primarily arguing that the underlying complaint did not allege allegations of personal and advertising injury arising out of Albany's legitimate business, and that their policy exclusions precluded coverage. Georgia law makes clear that ambiguities are to be resolved in favor of the insured, noting that the policy exclusions are ambiguous and that if the policy exclusions are ambiguous, the purported reservation of rights must be construed strictly against the insurer and liberally in favor of the insured. The appellants failed to even make a showing of ambiguity, let alone definitively establish that the underlying complaint falls outside their policies, or that an exclusion precludes coverage. The Eleventh Circuit found unpersuasive the arguments that the hotel's guest's right to privacy was not violated, and that the recording did not arise out of Banyan and Albany's business. While filming a showering guest is clearly not a legitimate hotel practice, when a hotel employee who would not have had access to the room, but for his authority, places the camera in the bathroom and circulates the video, the injury was undoubtedly imputed to the hotel. Accordingly, the Eleventh Circuit affirmed the district court's decision. In my opinion, hotel employees should not have the access to film a guest while she showered naked and then distribute the video to the world as she, believing she was taking a private shower, was clearly an illegitimate hotel practice performed by an employee who was given access by the hotel to include a camera where the victim showered. No exclusion applied and coverage was clearly applicable. This video was adapted from my blog, Zelma on Insurance, which is available free to anyone who clicks on the URL zalma.com slash blog. If you enjoyed or learned from this video, please tell your friends and colleagues so that they too can subscribe to the blog and the videos. And you can also subscribe if you're interested in receiving further detail on insurance, insurance law, insurance claims, and insurance fraud. Subscribe to my Substack publications or my 
lo locals community for a very small fee. Thank you for your attention.